everybody. So today I'm gonna have so today I'm having a spring live stream 2022. Yay. Okay, um, so the first song. Well, I'm sorry about the technical difficulties that I had. But hey, that's that's how life is. Um so the first song is the concerto in A minor. Uh is Vivaldi's concerto from Shizuki Book Four. So I hope you enjoy. All right. So I'll start and let people jump on. E money's the first one that's on. <laughs> All right. the first half of the concerto there was a lot of shifting in there but i managed to get through it yay all right so um the next song is spring from the four seasons Thank you. 
So that was Spring from the Four Seasons by Vivaldi. And that was Violin 2. I do not know how to play Violin 1 yet. So the next song is um, Humoresque by Dvorak. And thank you. Um, and I played this song for the for the PMA's um, music uh, concert, the spring concert, and me and my teacher did really good. So I'll try my best on this one. So that was Humoresque from Shizuki Book 3, the book I'm in now. And the next song is, well, if you guys are wondering what I just did there, um, right here. That is a harmonic. I will show you everything there is to know about harmonics. All right, so the next song is Golden Slippers. It's a folk song, so I hope you guys enjoy this.
was Golden Slippers. That was a really jazzy song and you know what I mean. All right. Um, the next one is a tango song. Yay. Um, so you might recognize this song. It's in the key of F major. Well, F minor, not major. All right. my place in this. All right. Uh... I'm still working on this song, so that was a great try. Uh, the next one is a song I made up. It's called The Bird, the Bird Sweet, The Vulture. It's the first movement. I was inspired by um, vultures and Oh, thank you. All right. Um, I was inspired by, well, this song inspired me. What am I saying? Um, so I was inspired by vultures on, and how they like eat like roadkill. So, yeah.
All right, that was the vulture and the wise crow. All right, the next one is Brian Brill's March. I haven't played this song in months, so I will try. Brian Burroughs March. And let's move on. And this is a song that my mom is learning. Um, it's called Bore and it's in the key of E minor. If you guys watched um, the house with its clock in the walls, um, you will hear Jack Black uh, whistling this song. So here it is. Sure, I could do Scarborough Fair. And that was Brian Brewer's March. No, not Brian Brewer's March, but Bore in E minor. Uh, okay. So I'm going to play in third position too, but there's a lower part. So I'm just going to play the whole thing. Um,
Royal Scarborough Fair. Um, oh. Well, I was inspired by a vulture and Lady Mariana. So that's why. I... Thanks, Grandma. I love you too. And thank you for that. <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm going to play Bad Romance by Lady Gaga. I haven't played that song in forever. So so that was that. And now I'm gonna play one of my favorite songs. It's a Russian song. And I don't know the name of it because it's in like a foreign language, but I imagine Russian dancers dancing to this song. So, Sure, I could try to play um, one of the songs from Jamila Lotus. Um, That's the only song I remember. Well, that's the only part I remember. Um, but I could play the Veil song too. Uh, ooh, my favorite. Well, I have another favorite song. 
um, the Finnish folk song, Sweet. First, I have to tighten my bow. Okay. Um, okay, the Finnish folk song, Sweet. So the first one is called Mansika, which means the strawberry. That's... Um, well, that's like the Finnish language, Mansika, for strawberry. All right. But I don't know why they named it strawberry because it doesn't sound like the strawberry. That was Mantica. <laughs> and the other one is the three crows or Colme Veresta. It almost sounds like um, uh, like a, like a Spanish word for eat. Um, so this is the Three Crows, the second movement. That was Golme Veresta. And now the third movement is, is Fly Fly Ladybug or uh, or Lena Le, or Lena Lena Le, Le Paquertu. So this one is a little bit more fast and vibrant. Uh, 
I'm all alone again. So, all right. Lena Lena Lepa Kertu, or Fly Fly Ladybug. Yes, I'm learning Finnish, like the Finnish language. And I also know a little bit of Spanish, Espanol. All right. Um, so, all oh, right, I thought. Oh, thank you for that. Um, oh, I um, I was going to teach you how to do dyna no, harmonics. So this is how you do a harmonic. So you, so you, um, I'll just show you. So you don't put any pressure on the strings, like just like leave your whole hand relaxed and don't put any pressure on the string like this. All right, so that's, uh, so that's one tip for it. Um, that's the only tip I know. So don't put any pressure on the string with your well, with your finger. Anyway, so um, the last song I just played, Lena Lena Le Parquetu, um, I made up a video for one of my favorite characters, um, Cat. She plays um, Lady Mariana in The Run Fair. And you could find that video on, um, on my YouTube channel. Well, it's, um, it's titled, um, it's titled um, For Lady Mariana Killam. And as soon as I sent it to her, she loved it. And that's why I made it for her because I thought of her with um, Fly Fly Ladybug, the fast and lively one, the last song I played. Um, I don't think I know any Spanish music. Uh... I know tango music. Uh... I made up my own character for the Ren Fair. Um, her name is uh, Lady Vina Blackbird, or the Mistress of Darkness. And the Three Crows, the one I know, the second movement I played. Um, I imagine that being her song. 
So, yeah. Um, maybe I'll play the orcs next. Uh, Crows will eat ladybugs. Um, the first song I played in the Finnish folk song, um, it didn't sound like a no. It didn't sound like the strawberry to me. It sounded like uh, somebody traveling on a boat from Finland. But I guess they just named it the strawberry because maybe the strawberry was sour. Um, is there anything else you guys want me to play besides Spanish music? All right. Um, I could play the, well, I could play Golden Slippers again. Denzel number two. Um, I I don't think I have that anymore. Uh, uh I could try Denzel number two. Um. part I remember. Um, I'll continue with Golden Slippers until I find another song to play for you guys.
Thank you. Um, so that was Golden Slippers. I well, um, it's like a really jazzy song. So I turned it into like a folk song because me and my teacher, we were just doing this. I don't um, I don't remember what we did, um, but it sounded like a classical song. So I decided to turn it into something fun and exciting. Um, so I would. So the last song is um, a song me and Lady Mariana is going to be singing at the Carolina Renaissance Festival on Halloween. We are going to be singing The Ballad of Anne Boleyn. I will sing that song one more time so I could get a feeling of what I have to do. Uh, I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. The mistress have returned, has returned, yeah. All right. So this is an audience participation song. I know you heard my binder slam on the floor. Um, so the first word is head. When I shout head, you repeat after me. And the second word is tucked. When I shout tuck, you do the same thing. All right? And that's tucked with a T, everyone. All right. Uh, I forgot how this song goes. Um, <clears throat> Oh, in the Tower of London, large as life, the ghost of Anne Boleyn walks, they declare. Poor Anne Boleyn was once King Henry's wife, until we made the swords, until we made the swordsmen bob her hair. Ah, uh, yes, he did a wrong long years ago. She comes back every night to tell him so with her head tucked underneath her arm she walks the bloody tower with her head tucked underneath her arm in the midnight hour she comes to haunt king henry she means to give, give him what, give him what for she's going to have to tell him off She's feeling very sore, and just in and just in case the headsman wants to give her an encore, she has her head tucked underneath her arm, with her head tucked underneath her arm. She walks the bloody tower with her head tucked underneath her arm in the midnight hour. Sometimes gay King Henry gives a spread to all his pals and gals and ghostly crew. The, he the headsman carves the joints and cuts the bread. Then in comes Anne Boleyn to queer the dew. She holds her head up with a wild war whoop. Ah. And Henry cries, don't drop it in the soup. Oh, with her head tucked underneath her arm, she walks the bloody tower with her head tucked underneath her arm and at the midnight hour. One night she caught King Henry, he was in the castle bar. Says he, are you Jane Seymour, Anne Boleyn? Or Catherine Parr. 
How am I supposed to know exactly who you are? With your head tucked underneath her arm. With your head tucked underneath her arm. She walks the bloody tower. With her head tucked underneath her arm in the midnight hour. She has her head tucked underneath her arm. Yay. So that's the song me and Lady Mary and uh, Killam is going to be doing. And uh, if you all noticed, I am an alto singer. And I can sing a little bit of tenor, sometimes soprano, sometimes. I can't hit those high notes like really fast, but yeah, that was that. Uh, does anybody else want me to play anything before I go? Any suggestions? Um, anybody? I can play humoresque again with a lot of shifting and high notes. Okay. Humoresque again. Um, so I have a few announcements. Uh, 
so what is my favorite song I like to play on violin? Um, I like to play humoresque and there's a lot of songs I like to play. Like I like to play songs in minor keys and sometimes major keys, like the Finnish folk song that was in a minor key, F minor. And I like to play stuff in minor keys and I like to play stuff from movies too. Like I like Star Wars a little bit. I can't wait to work on that with you. Yeah. Um, so on June, I will be at Winthrop University doing my ST Arts program. So I would do so I would not be auditioning for the Ren Fair this year, but I'll try again next time to be an underdone players or something that I'm fit for. Um, <laughs> and so I'll be at um, at Winthrop University all throughout June. And then um, going into the fall season, like September or oh, October, um, I will be singing with Lady Mariana at the Carolina Renaissance Festival on uh, Halloween. Um, but so that's that. Um, another thing, what's the other thing? Um, I will be posting more videos of <laughs> So I'll be posting more videos of me playing violin. And they'll be like all around Tiga K and Fort Mill and maybe in Charlotte or something. And uh, me and my mom, we're going to be playing a little duet called Midnight Spell. So stick around for that. Uh, and, oh, and I have a song list for my, well, for uh, the Renaissance Festival when I'm eligible for uh, performing by myself. So I will tell you all that later. Uh, oh, and one more thing. Is there any, no, is there any shows you guys like in the Ren Fair that you recommend that I see? Because I would love to know. Well, I know Dead Bob is one of my favorites. Um, and The Morning Agenda is one of my favorites because last year um, I was at the Ren Fair for the Halloween event and um, Jester Luck, she was doing something crazy. Like she dressed herself as um, she um dressed herself up. She dressed herself up as a ghost, and she tried to scare the queen, but the queen knew it was her the whole time because she can hear her bells. And then the queen asked her what her chicken was dressed up as, and Jester Luck just said a chicken. So. That was my favorite part of the morning agenda. Um, I also went to go see the Queen's Musicale uh, for the Halloween event, the Time Travelers Weekend, and the Pirate Christmas Weekend. So I was there like for six weekends. 
And then um, the second to the last day, uh, I was there on the second day, like the second to the last day, because I wanted to say my last goodbyes to everyone. And I really miss all of them. So, oh, because I had to go to a show at Narrow Way Productions and it was on a Sunday and I couldn't go to the last day of the rent fair. So that's some news that went on last year. And if you guys are at the rent fair uh, this year, um, for the Halloween event, you might see me in a, like this really big dress. Um, it's black and with, well, with like a Gothic veil and I'm going to be wearing black gloves. And if it is too hot, I might wear my Cruella Dalmatian jacket or if it's like a little cool, um, I might wear the steampunk um, jacket I got from Victorian Choice. They have a lot of uh, great costumes there. So I love you guys. And that's it for this live stream. If you guys have any questions, just put those questions in the comments down below and I will look at them to help you. So make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys uh, maybe at the Halloween event at the run fair. Bye everybody. Bye Lady Mariana. I love you.